the hydrologic model of GIS water is the same that EpaSwim uses. Here you can see a subcatchment and all of its data. Node ID, subcatchment ID, area, average width, slope, etc. And also a infiltration model that is in our database. It is possible to manage all this data through a GIS, in this case QGIS. We also have snowpacks, aquifers and rain gauges. Here we placed a rain gauge with a 5-year return period rainfall. So let's change the rainfall settings through the GIS water interface. And there we have it, a 10 year return period rainfall. We can also access this rainfall through QGIS and change it to a 5 year return period rainfall. So you can see we can use different types of rainfalls and also model our network in a very simple way.